Hello, everybody. This is Die Antinatalist, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the word natural and how it is abused. Um, just because something is natural does not mean it is good. And uh, I have an assortment of foods over here, and I'm going to go into detail one by one um, with the dogs beside me. And i um, going to talk about how natural can be very bad um, for you. And um, take this maple syrup here. It is natural. <laughs> um, I got it in Canada. I got it in Montreal this summer. Um, but... And you look on the back, and um, the nutritional information is, um, it's about 60 calories per ta tablespoon. That is sugar, folks. It's a carbohydrate. Uh, it simply turns into fat. There is no benefit whatsoever to eating sugar, no matter how natural that sugar is. And that goes for a brown sugar, it goes for white sugar, and it goes for honey, and even a blue agave syrup. Even though a blue agave does actually have a lower glycemic level than um, the other natural sugars, but it still is uh, very highly caloric. One tablespoon is 60 calories. It has no protein, no fiber, no vitamins. It is just sugar, folks. <laughs> and especially if you are a diabetic, you should not be consuming very much sugar at all, regardless if it's natural or not. Um, even fructose, like uh, that which is in oranges and apples and pears. Um, fructose is natural, but fructose is sugar. And it's just simply going to turn into fat. And um, for those of you who like, um, you know, regular sodas like Mountain Dew or Coca-Cola that aren't diet, you are just consuming sugar. You are consuming empty calories. And um, over here, I have a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. And I this is not my bottle of olive oil. And I do not like olive oil, especially the extra virgin version. Extra virgin olive oil means that it was at its first pressing. So it's extra um, flavorful, if you will. I think it's very um, malodorous, and I don't like the smell of extra virgin olive oil. But years ago, I was talking to uh, a, um, a Facebook friend um, somewhere online, and we were talking about the different oils, and And I, I told her, I said, um, she remarked that the, the virgin or the olive oil was good for you. And she accented, she accentuated for you. <laughs> and I can actually remember her um, <laughs> to this day saying, it's good for you. Um, extra virgin olive oil is no better for you. Um, no matter if it contains any kind of antioxidants or trace minerals, it is still fat. And the, the label is torn off of this virgin olive oil, but um, oil of any kind is about 100 to 120 calories per tablespoon. And whether it is a nut oil, like peanut oil, sesame oil, or olive oil, or a vegetable oil, like corn oil, it is very caloric. And calories are what... Um, puts on weight, puts on fat, um, pounds for us. So <laughs> there is no real benefit to having much oil at all. Um, I've heard that oil can synthesize certain vitamins. Um, of course, humanity does need um, a slight amount of oil to maintain, uh, you know, skin suppleness and um <laughs> Look at you, sweetie. <laughs> I 
Um, but we do need a trace amount of oil. I don't believe we need sugar. But, um, and that leads me to uh, something else that a lot of people say, and that that childbirth, <laughs> pregnancy, and reproduction is natural. And I have had this discussion with uh, a girl, a woman that um, I used to, uh, I used, she used to be a friend and she worked at a, a vet clinic. She was much younger than me, but, you know, I asked her whether she wanted to have kids because she was about to get married. And um, so I asked this woman, I said, do you think you'll have kids? And she says, yeah, you know, we, we do want a couple of kids. And she knew my antinatalist stance because um, I was quite vocal about about that then. And, um, and, you know, I asked her whether she ever gave it any thought to whether her child would, you know, grow up in a world to suffer or, um, you know, to experience losses or to have physical pain or mental pain or, you know, to just develop shortcomings in life, um, which would, you know, um, discredit her future or his future because nothing is predictable at all. And I had long discussions with her. Um, her name is Ur Ursula. And um, so her, her comment to me was, but pregnancy is natural. And indeed, it is natural um, because humanity has been um, impregnating since the beginning of time. Um, all life forms... Um, have been procreating, haven't they? And, uh, but you know, just because something is natural does not make it good. Death is natural, but most people don't want to die. Most people want to live better lives and, um, and have fulfilling lives and not have stress and worry and, um, you know, commitments and obligations. But, since we are all placed into existence, and if you're listening and watching this video, you were placed into existence, and you were placed here without your consent. You did not give your permission uh, to your parents to be born, to be conceived, um, to be placed into existence. So, <laughs> indeed, uh, it is natural to have sex, to have babies, to impregnate. Uh, but, but that sort of natural can be a very bad thing. Just like maple syrup, just like white sugar, just like olive oil, honey, and agave. So don't be deceived by the word natural. And always read your labels. Thank you for watching my video, and um, please subscribe, comment, and share uh, this video if um, if you like its content, and please, did I say subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to taper off here with a, with a little bit more of my, my puppy play here, and this one here, he's quite old. And I've had him since he was around two. He had a couple of forms of mange, demodex, and sarcoptic. And this is Summer. She's a lab mix. Hey, pretty girl. And you know what? I just noticed she matches this bedding. And this bedding I got at a garage sale, and it was like $5. And um, they love it. They absolutely love these um, little bumper cushion size because they lay their heads on it so um it's been very popular and it's really soft because it's plush so anyway she, she's gonna be teething before long yeah and she's actually oh she's actually lost one of her cane let me show let me show everybody that canine is missing see that one right there can you see see that dull um it's really, really pearly white. Um, the baby tooth teeth are a little bit yellow.
But that big one right there that's protruding like an alligator mouth, it's like they feel like alligator sharp teeth. But anyway, uh, the canines, I think, are the first to uh, come out. And then uh, the incisors. Uh, yeah, actually, some of our incisors are already... Ow! Oh, those incisors are coming in. So I hope she loses a tooth on the ground and I'm able to, to keep one as a keepsake. Um, but, uh, yeah, just because it's natural does not make it good and does not make it good for you. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> So good.